from Television City in Hollywood, the Jack Benny Program with Jack's guest, Gary Cooper. Brought to you by Lucky Strike. Get the genuine article. Get the honest taste of a Lucky Strike. That was a wonderful reception. I think I'll come out again. <laughs> I thought that sounded just a little bit stronger. Uh, that's enough. That's enough. Uh, thank you very, very much, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the warm-up of the Ed Sullivan Show. <laughs> You know, this, uh, here I am again, uh, back for my ninth year with uh, Lucky Strike. Gosh, how time flies. Just imagine, since I first went on television, all the rest of you are nine years older. <laughs> but I want to tell you, this is my first show of the season. I must say that it's rather difficult to be funny with all the things that are happening in the world today, like the crisis in the Middle East, the trouble in Algeria, the unsettled situation in Formosa, postage going up to four cents. <laughs> Murder. <laughs> Yesterday alone cost me 12 cents just to answer my fan mail. <laughs> so if you like me, Please just watch. Don't write. <laughs> but anyway, I must say that it's, uh, it's, really, it's really wonderful to be back here again. And now, I would like to present to you my, uh, my guest star, ladies and gentlemen. And I'm very, very proud. I'd like to get him on as soon as possible. I'm very proud to present my guest star, who is one of the great, great, stars of the motion picture industry, and really one of the top personalities in Hollywood. And here he is, Gary Cooper. He got more applause than I did. <laughs> well, Gary, I want to tell you that's really a thrill having you here on my first show, you know? Thank you, Jack. Really, it's just... Now, I know that you've had a lot of offers to appear on different uh, live television shows, and you've refused all of them. And yet, when I asked you to come on my show, you immediately accepted. Well, uh, to tell you the truth, Jack, I was going to turn you down, too, but when you told me that your guests this afternoon on your show were going to be John Forster Dulles, Bernard Baruch, and President Eisenhower, I just couldn't refuse. <laughs> How do you like that? A big star. I pull a gag on him that wouldn't work on Dennis Day. <laughs> what did you say? Nothing. <laughs> But, Gary, let me ask you something. I, first of all, I do want to thank you for donating your services. No, Jack. <clears throat> what do you mean, donating? I expect to be paid for this appearance. Paid? <laughs> yes. I, I may walk slowly to the bank, but when I get there, I want them to have a reason for saying howdy. <laughs> Ten thousand dollars. Ten thousand for this one. Affair. But Gary, I really thought you were coming on my show because of our great friendship. I mean, we've been friends for years. I mean, I've been to your home for dinner three, four nights a week. <laughs> I, I don't know how many times for lunch. <laughs> Uh, I'm up, Jack. <laughs> You're supposed to say 10,000 covers. 
So I'll say it for you. Go on. Don't worry about it. Anybody can make a mistake. He hurt his back anyway. Listen. He... But you know, Gary hurt his back, and I didn't think he would appear, and he did anyway. And so even if you miss a line, Gary, believe me, it's all right. <laughs> now, look at, you know, in your career in show business, during your career, you've won many, many citations and awards and Oscars and everything. What award do you think gave you the biggest thrill? Well, that happened just uh, two weeks ago. What was that? I came in second at a hula hoop contest. <laughs> Second isn't bad for a guy that has no hips. <laughs> That's pretty good. That's an ad lib. You know what an ad lib is, don't you? Yes. Mm -hmm. An ad lib is when you when you step away from the script and louse up the whole show. Ten thousand dollars. He's fussy. <laughs> now, Gary, one thing that I did want to ask you though, I understand you just made a picture. They're called Man of the West. And I hear this is the most exciting picture that you've ever done. The suspense is terrific, and the photography is out of this world. Yeah. Well, Jack, we think we have a good one, yeah. You know, huh? Well, I'm so anxious to see it. When are they having the sneak preview, you know, where they invite all of us celebrities? Well, they had that last night. <laughs> must have gone to bed early. <laughs> well, how is it I didn't get an invitation? Well, Jack, when it comes to a free preview, you're the one man who never needs an invitation. Mm -hmm. First time you see a searchlight in the sky, you put on your tuxedo and head right for it. <laughs> what? In our business, you're known as Benny the Moth. <laughs> Bella, who spent all his life saying they went that away, you're pretty funny. <laughs> anyway, Jerry, thanks very, very much for appearing on the show. Well, I... And, what? Well, I'm not going just yet, Jack. You're not? No, I thought that being as this is my first time as a guest star mm -hmm. on television, I'd like to sing a song. <laughs> I didn't know that, really, I didn't know that you sing. Oh, yes, I've been singing for years. Really? I'm a regular Jeff Chandler. <laughs> <laughs> well, have you prepared a number? Oh, yes, and the sportsmen are going to back me up. The sportsmen? Yeah. You mean my quartet? Oh, well, come on out here then, fellas. Come on out, fellas. Oh, the You, you really have a singing voice, huh? And you're prepared, you, you sing well. Well, well let, let, let's hear it then, I'm anxious. Go right ahead, I certainly want to hear this. Johnny is a joker. He's a bird. A very fine joker. He's a bird. But when he jokes a honey. He's a dog. The joker is a honey. What a dog. Johnny is a joker that's a trying to steal my baby. He's a bird dog. <laughs> Johnny sings a love song. Like a bird. He sings the sweetest love song. You ever heard. But when he sings to my gal. He's a hound. To me he's just a wolf dog. On the prowl. Johnny wants to fly away and puppy love my baby. He's a bird dog. <laughs> hey bird dog, get away from my chick. He's a bird. He gives a lot to He's a bird. He's a teacher's pet now. He's a dog. What he wants he gets now. What a dog. He's a teacher's pet and sits with my baby. He's a bird dog. He even made the teacher let him sit next to my baby. He's a bird dog. Yep. <laughs> I gotta say, 
say one thing, you've got a lot of guts. <laughs> Jack, I, I thought you'd like it. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta run along now. Uh, I gotta get back to the studio. We're uh, uh, continuing our casting. Casting? Yeah, you see, we, we think so much of The Man of the West that we've already started on making a sequel. A sequel to your picture, Man of the West? Yep. Well, Gary, would there be a part in this picture for me, you think? Well, Jack, the only part not cast yet is the part of my brother. Well, good, I'll, I'll take it. No, no, it's, um, it's my twin brother. Oh. Well, it would be a little... <laughs> Smog doesn't bother you, does it? <laughs> well, uh, couldn't you play the part sitting down all the way through the thing? I'm afraid not. Well, then I guess my height sort of lets me out, huh? Well, don't let that worry you, Jack. If it weren't that, it'd be something else. <laughs> well, thank you, my friend. He really hurt his back doing the hula hoop. <laughs> but, you know, this has always been my luck in picture. You see, I'm too short to play Gary's brother, and I was too tall for Toulouse Lautrec. <laughs> but you know, ladies and gentlemen, if you notice, Don Wilson hasn't been on this first show, and the reason is, is because he's in uh, Atlantic City, and he's going to open in a big Broadway play tomorrow night, a play called Make a Million. I love the title, you know. <laughs> and, he, um, and he's going to open on Broadway. And, of course, he's going to fly in and be on nearly all of my future shows. But we do want to wish Don Wilson a lot of luck in this whole show. And meanwhile, the Sportsman Quartet are going to dedicate a number to Don Wilson. The honest taste of a lucky strike. The honest taste of a lucky strike. How do you like our new commercial, Don? Too bad you couldn't be here to bring it on. But don't you worry, Don. Don't you fret. Your substitute can really sell a cigarette. <laughs> Don, meet Donna. Everybody loves a lover. I'm a lover. Everybody loves me. You have all heard Doris Day sing this way. Now we have another version. Everybody loves a lucky, loves the honest taste, oh yes they do. And I love everybody, since I fell in love with you. Hey there Don, how do you like your substitute? She's not fat, not a bit, and she's kinda cute. You can see she's not very tall and a bit small. Nothing at all like our own Don Wilson. LSM, LSM, FT, Lucky Strike. LSM, LSM, FT, will like Lucky Strike, Lucky Lucky Love. What do you say? Really okay. Lucky 
Gentlemen, gentlemen, I appreciate your coming down for this audition, but the part we're casting in the sequel to Man of the West is the part of Gary Cooper's twin brother. And I'm afraid the two of you won't do. Would you mind waiting for a minute? No, I don't mind. Sorry, fellas. Maybe next time, huh? Look, uh, Mr. Houston, I mean, uh, excuse me, Mr. Cooper will be here in a few minutes, and uh, we'll run the scene then. In the meantime, would you mind telling me your name? Houston. Bob Houston. And your address? Uh, 4946 uh, Whitsitt. Oh, hi, Gary. Sorry I was late. I had to make an appearance on the Jack Benny show. Oh, I thought you were going to be on for only a few minutes. Well, I was only supposed to be on for a few minutes, but I thought I'd stay a little longer. The president was watching. <laughs> well, I was, uh, was kind of busy here, and I didn't get time to see it. How'd it go? Oh, pretty good. Of course, I threw in a few ad libs. You know what an ad lib is, don't you? Well, that's when somebody steps away from the script and uh, saves the whole show. <laughs> Gary, I want to meet Bob Houston. He's going to audition for the part of your twin brother. Fine. You're about the right height. Should we get going? Yeah, let's do. All right, fellas, let's get ready for the scene, huh? All right, see, uh, you sit over there. Oh, I beg your pardon, yeah. Mr. Bentley. Yeah. Another actor just came in. He wants to try out for the part. Well, if he's the right time, you can have the next audition. Send him in. Okay. You can come in now. Look, fellas, uh, we'll start. <laughs> Mind stepping over here for a minute? <laughs> How do you do? Howdy. Uh, you mind telling me your name? Morgan. Tex Morgan. Tex Morgan, huh? Yep. <laughs> Guess there's no use waiting because I'm certainly fit to play the part of Gary Cooper. I uh, look so much me. like him. Do you mind telling me where you live? What's that? Where do you live? Ten North Frederick. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, look, it's no use taking any time, and I because I got an important appointment pretty soon. Well, we'll try not to rush things, but uh, what time is your appointment? If he says high noon, I'll ad lib a bullet right between his eyes. <laughs> What'd you say, Shorty? <laughs> if uh, it's all right with you, can we get on with it? Okay, what do I do? Nothing. There's another gentleman ahead of you. Well, there's no sense of that. I'm fit for the part of his twin Would brother. Would you mind sitting down, sir, right there, if you don't okay. mind? But I'm a watcher. I'm next. Remember that. <laughs> All right now, fellas. <laughs> At the beginning of this scene, I want the three of you playing cards with his twin brother. Now get a little closer to the table. Yeah, that'll be better for camp. Oh, don't forsake me, oh my darling. <laughs> on this our wedding day. Oh. <laughs> I'm just trying to get in the mood. <laughs> you just watch Mr. Houston. He's uh, the one that's uh, going to audition. You better watch him. Well, I'll sure be a watching him. <laughs> <laughs> but I want to tell you something, Mr. Houston. You better be good at this, because I'm auditioning the part next. All right, fellas, let's get ready, huh? You sit down there. <laughs> Okay, fellas, start the scene. Action! Uh, I'll have two cards. Give me one. Two. I'll take three. Just a minute. I saw you dealing from the bottom of the deck. Drop those guns. Put them away. That there's my twin brother, and I'm here to see this is a fair fight. All right. <laughs>
the honest taste of a lucky strike. Pardon me. Hmm? I see you smoke luckies. Yes, yes, I do. A genuine cigarette. Sure is. Fine tobacco from end to end. A wonderful smoke, a lucky strike. Honest taste. See, I'd like a lucky right now. Well, I don't blame you. It's the best tasting cigarette I ever smoked. So long. Well, looks like I'll have to smoke my own. Never was a man who could forget the taste of a genuine cigarette. Get the honest taste a man can like. The honest taste of a lucky strike. The honest taste of a lucky strike. You know, when you pay good money for a cigarette, get the genuine article. Get the honest taste of a lucky strike. Not a gag. I just can't get up. <laughs> Somebody help me. Would you help me up, please? Just, anyway. There you go. There, there. Thank you. Good thing they didn't hear him say, You're welcome, but it would have cost me $80. <laughs> Union, you know. Wow. Well, it's my last with Western. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, once again, I'd like to bring out my guest star, Gary Cooper. Gary? I want to tell you that I certainly am looking forward to seeing your picture, Man of the West, and I think the sequel to it will be very, very good, even if I'm not in it, you see? <laughs> and, Gary, you know, what is there about Westerns that are they're so wonderful? I mean, even the, the real old ones that you see on television are good. I mean, they keep going along all the time. Why is that, huh? Well, Jack, I think one reason is that uh, they're not dated. What do you mean? Well, can you tell the difference between a 1912 and a 1958 horse? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> I never thought of that. You can't, can you? No, and you have to be darn careful when you walk out onto a used horse lot. <laughs> oh, I do. <laughs> Thank you, Gary. <laughs> you 
You know, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to do something I do not usually do on television shows, and that's introduce people. But there are two ladies here who are seeing a television show in the studio for the very first time. One is Mrs. Gary Cooper, and I'd like to have her just take a bow. And, and his lovely daughter, Maria. Maria, take a bow. Well, you know, it's beautiful. Isn't that nice? You know, Mary and I have been the friends of the Coopers so many years, really. I wasn't kidding before. We have dinner at each other's house all the time. It really happens. And Mrs. Cooper's first name is Rocky. I've only known her by the name of Rocky. And finally, the other day, after all these years, I said, what does Rocky mean? And she says, Veronica. And I didn't know that before. <laughs> oh, I always thought her name was Rocky. I thought she used to be a fighter. Or something. <laughs> <laughs> But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I do want to announce now, of course, next week, I want you to be sure and watch Bachelor Father, starring John Forsythe. Then I'll be back in two weeks, and wait till I tell you who my guest is, two weeks a day. Now, he's been with me on radio for maybe 20 years. And yet, this is the first time on television that he has ever been on my Lucky Strike program, and that's Phil Harris. <laughs> Be sure and save that saloon set for the next show. <laughs> you know, as I mentioned, Phil Harris, you see, he used to conduct the orchestra for me in radio. For 20 years, he used to lead the orchestra and knows absolutely nothing about music. <laughs> but you can mention Beethoven's Fifth. This he knows about. Anything in Fifth. <laughs> But he can conduct an orchestra, and it's merely up and thing. Uh, am, am I through? Oh, oh. Well, thank you very, very much. I could have talked for hours, but thank you. Thank you. Very much. Appearing on tonight's program were Jan Arban, Dick Crockett, Saul Gores, Dick Geary, Paul Baxley, Virginia Marcini, and Virginia Stephens. Remember, one week from tonight on the same station, be sure and view Bachelor Father, starring John Forsythe. And next Friday on most of these stations, watch the exciting Western series Trackdown, starring Robert Culp. Brought to you by Lucky Strike, product of the American Tobacco Company. Godfrey Gleason, Gary Moore, Rich Kellen, Danny Thomas, Robert Young, Spring Byington, lots more. Ed Sullivan's all-star preview. Next on the CBS Television Network.